Hey everybody, welcome to another video by Ducked Up Gaming. Today I'm going to be teaching you and showing you how to do a reverse vault in Dying Light like this. So it's pretty simple, it just takes muscle memory and coordination and just re repetition of doing it over and over again until you get it so good that you hit it every time. And I'll explain later why you won't hit it every time, but you can get it pretty close to there. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your menu and you need to go to options. You need to go to your stick sensitivity and you need to turn it to where it's seven away from like seven little clicks away from all the way to the right. So I just usually go all the way to the right and then go back seven, just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that usually gets a good justification of what you need at the, for to do this vault. Too fast and it won't look right and it'll be very, very hard to actually hit it if you even get it at all. And too slow and it just, whoo, you won't get it very good. So it just won't look right. So what you need to do is now is you need to get used to the turning rotation of when you do the vault. And simply just run, jump, and use your right analog stick to kind of move your vision around in a circle. Doing this right will get you in the same position accurately as when you jumped and that'll that that'll be pretty easy and then next you need to do a couple vaults get warmed up and then <clears throat> do the vaulting while turning now you don't have to actually do the reverse vault like that every time yet but the more you get it the, the more you're gonna um, get used to it so what you need to do is you just need to run jump and turn and, and the reason why you will not get the vault every time is because the developers of the game and the game designers that actually made the game, they coordinate all the graphics and controls of the game. And what they want is they want a game that's going to be fun for everybody to play. Well, for me, I love this game. It's very fun, and I play it almost every day. My favorite game. But... I don't like how it doesn't include a lot of the parkour moves, especially tacking off a wall. You can tack up a wall, but you can't tack off a wall. And even though it was originally designed to be in the game, they took it out. And my guess is because they don't want too sophisticated controls. If you have that, then it's really hard to kind of differentiate, differentiate what controls you're trying to do. And it can get frustrating if you're trying to tack off a wall and, but you keep doing a backward back backflip. <laughs> Obviously, it's probably not going to happen, but it is possible if the controls get too complex. So that's probably why they took it out. But I'm going to teach you how to use those graphics that they made to your advantage to actually modifying the tricks to make it look like another trick. You can turn the simple vault that you do into a reverse, a reverse vault very easy and all it takes is just getting the conditioning to where you can get the vault every time and I'll teach you the best way for that to happen <clears throat> so what we need to work on right now though is timing we need to time it to where we don't jump over the pole but we don't run smack into it we have to time it to where every time we jump we're going to jump and do a vault whether it be a dash vault a reverse vault looking thing I don't really I guess it would be a speed vault normally or just a regular Kong or monkey vault it doesn't <clears throat> it doesn't matter which one we do we just need to make sure that we actually get that vault and once you got your timing good go ahead and practice the timing along with vaulting while turning so what we what we're aiming for is we're gonna keep adding our skills up to where we can get very we can start building up all these skills together collectively which will all focus on controlling the look and feel of the trick and making it look really cool this entire video is going to seem very complex and com complex and confusing and you're probably going to say oh i don't want to work this hard for it but it's really not that hard you just take the skills that you learned from me and adapt them into a way that you can control them in the game so the next thing we need to le learn is how to actually do the vault every time and this is all on the analog sticks nothing else your timing can suck but if you can do it right the timing every once in a while as long as you master getting the trick 
then you'll hit it every time. And it's, it's fairly simple. It just takes a lot of coordination and muscle memory to get it done. Because now whenever I vault, I do it automatically. <laughs> I do a reverse vault every time. And I'm not even trying to. So, sorry if I'm making you dizzy right there. We'll come back to that. What we need to work on now is actually staying in a straight line while turning. Our, our idea is to get from point A to point B. We need to jump, get over it, but still keep the flow of running because that's what parkour is. It's keeping flow and rhythm, getting from one direction to another in multiple series of ways. And you want it to be as rhythmic as possible. You just want to glide over the obstacles. And that's really hard to do if you're kind of getting stuck on the same wall that you're trying to vault over. And you'll see some examples of that in a little bit. So, to, we just need to focus on keeping our analog sticks in the right order. We need to imagine that we're walking in one direction while turning and we need to take different steps in different ways to remain um, walking towards that destination. And you can get this by standing up, walking a little bit away from your TV, and trying to walk towards it while spinning. And, and it's, it's fairly simple to do this, unless you have, you know, a little bit of trouble trying to focus two things at once with your mind. But that's not really that hard for me, and in generally isn't that hard. So, you need to practice that a couple times, get used to it, and then you take that image in your head and apply it to the game using the analog sticks. And once you got that, then you have the motion down. Now you have the motion down and the timing down and the idea of what you want to do. So now we need to focus on the trick that we're trying to do. We're trying to get the speed vault looking vault. We're not trying to get the, the dash one. Now, I'm not gonna lie. Every, most of the time when I try to do these vaults, I do the dash vault a lot. And I do the reverse vault a lot. The, the better I get at it, the more reverse vault that I do. But there is just a slight imperfections in the timing that you do, along with the imperfections of aligning yourself with the whatever you're trying to vault that just creates such a bad way to jump. Um, it's a little hard, but the idea is to move your analog stick in an upward diagonal direction. You want it to go either to the left or to the right, but not downward, but upward. And it's a little confusing, but it just, just practice looking up to the right and up to the left. That's simple. That's simple. And then just apply that a second before you vault, start turning that way, then vault, time yourself, and move, and it all comes together to create the reverse vault. So, I like to practice here because I can do three tries, turn around and do another three tries, and with some space to run between, and where that is is right here in Old Town. It's in this building that's next to like this square building, and it's between where you spawn and in, in Old Town and the first place you have to go to when you come here. And that place is the tower. That's where you talk to Savvy if you choose to um, after you get the little cutscene. And he'll tell you to go to two locations. And when you spawn, you'll spawn here and you have to go all the way over there and talk to him and then he'll give you two locations and this is one of them. This area is really good. Just climb up. It's super easy, super simple. Nothing too complex, nothing too hard. Um, fairly easy um, so you just want to keep practicing the consistency the move just practice getting the vault all, all of these things will combine together and make it fit into what you want you just want to make sure that you're you're putting all these movements and timings and and controls all together and using the imperfections that the game creates you can make the game expand so much more just by your own knowledge of knowing things and you just get better at doing these things and you can do it over and over again and it's it's really fun to actually do other parkour tricks in the game so that's about it like comment subscribe 
and I'll keep you guys updated if I find any more of these variations of parkour tricks. So that's it. Keep trying. Good luck. See you guys later.